Oh, we've got a can of green beans. I'm going to use about half this can, a little bit under a cup. A can of diced tomatoes, Mexican style, oh boy. Some onions, about three quarters of a cup. A cup of beef for stew meat. A, a small potato I've cut up. I looked in water so it wouldn't turn brown there. Some kale, curly kale. Uh, that's a beef bouillon. One a large carrot, chopped. And then we've got two cloves of garlic, about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon of fake salt, not real salt. And then to add a little interest, we've got some cayenne pepper dried flakes there. Should uh, be pretty good. So we're going to start off with taking this, uh, this melange of food. I'm going to add a little vegetable oil, whatever you've got, into the bottom of the pot so that when we add our meat, which we have brought to room temperature, it doesn't uh, stick as readily on the bottom of the pot. We've got the heat on this hot plate turned to high. There we go. Boy, that looks good, doesn't it already? I love making soup. It's probably one of the most healthy things that you can throw together in a kitchen. It's low fat if you're using lean meat like I am here. Uh, just absolutely good for the body. A great, a great winter dish too. It's uh, warming, good if you have kids. In goes my little can of tomatoes. These are Mexican flavored. It adds a little heat. I like my soup to have just a little bit of bite. You know, not crazy, but that with the cayenne pepper certainly will give it a kick. Throw in a can of water. Now I've got. I'm using a five uh, cup, if you will, Le Creuset. Uh, pot there and I'm going to fill up every bit of it. There's a tablespoon of uh, beef bouillon powder, the minced garlic that I prepared earlier. You just see these flavors as they're melding and mixing into there. That looks like a lot of pepper. I hope it wasn't too much. The fig salt gives me the taste of salt without the actual sodium chloride. And finally for those who are venturesome, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Those are our carrots to add a little color and more nutrition to the dish. My chopped up onions, I believe, or is that the onions or the potatoes? That's the onions. Green beans, and I'm not sure, I'm still not sure, I'm sure that was the onions. Did anyone see the potatoes go in there? I'm sure I put the potatoes in there. But as you can see, the pot, uh, which is a small Lucrezet pot, there are the potatoes. Um, fills up rather rapidly with this, but you get a, a really good five or six servings, uh, large servings out of this preparation. And uh, there goes the kale. I just had that laying around there, but since it's a member uh, of the broccoli family, it brings a lot of nutrients to the uh, dish. So we threw that in there. It was just left over. If you got stuff that's left over, throw them in. That doesn't that look good. Finally, my secret ingredient, which is half a cup of just tomato juice that I put in the microwave and heat it up. It gives an added little bit of color and some nice tomatoey taste to the finished dish. So that's it. We uh, stir that up a little bit then uh, throw our cover on. I'm going to cook that for about an hour and a half on low heat. 